What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this solo RPG video where I would like to talk about the Science Fiction Codex of Lists. It's a book by James Cato and it's not specifically for solo RPGists out there, although as you will see, it is very, very, very useful for the soloist. It's uh, designed for, you know, campaign group use as well. But of course, it covers everything you need table-wise um, in the science fiction department. Now, it's by Gen Games. It comes in at 324 pages. And I'd like to read the top part. Well... I'd like to read some of the back of the book, if you don't mind, and it will help you to understand what this book is about. So it says, this book is designed to make a game master's job easier when he or she creates science fiction, role-playing game adventures and campaigns. This book includes 90 RPG lists, 324 pages of content and thousands of entries designed for any science fiction game setting. These lists will help spark your imagination and add flavour and colour to all your science fiction adventures. They will produce a random result by using the appropriate dice roll. And the lists include, and I will not go through them all because, there's, you know, like let's say there's 90 lists. But you've got any, everything from alien artifacts to contraband cargo, cyberpunk jobs, high-tech suits, giant monsters, mutations, nanotech, near-future adventure hooks, um, robot options, robot types, satellites, sci-fi drugs, sci-fi flaws, government agencies, there's planets names, there's ship names, there's crew, there's starship maneuvers, steampunks in there as well. It's all covered really. I mean, you're not going to be needing to use all of it, most likely, I would say. For example, my sci-fi RPG comes in the form of Alien, the RPG game, so a lot of these won't be... Um, so relevant to that game but then there are other games that i don't know that much about like traveler and so on which might be more useful for but in any event they are very 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 useful there is something in there for everyone and what i like you've got the you've got a table of contents which is always good for a compilation of tables isn't it and it's in alphabetical order as well because, you know, I do have books where they're not in alphabetical order, so you know, whatever. It's just, I don't know, a bit of an OCD thing of mine. It's nice to have them in alphabetical order. All manner of tables are covered here, from a D2 table to a D1000 table. And that means the table on tables, you need to roll a dice between D2 and D1000 to obtain your results. Now, you, you can... It does actually explain how to get all these results from ordinary D6s. But you can, you can use, I mean, if, you, if you're if you into role-playing games, you will be very familiar with the polyhedral dice anyway. Um, but there are other more obscure ones out there from the D30 or even the D3 to get results, you know, of 1 to 30 or 1 to 3. But, I mean, you know, you can do it in... in any number of ways really so all in all i would say that the science fiction codex of lists comes highly recommended by myself very very highly recommended whether you are running a sci-fi rpg for a group or whether you're going it alone for the solo rpg experience this book will definitely help you and will most certainly make your gaming experience so much more enjoyable and you can i've looked on amazon you can pick this book up on amazon at the moment at the time of recording the cheapest i saw it on there for was nine pounds 35 that's uk uh, british pounds um but yeah it, it might vary it might go up it might go down but yeah it is highly recommended i won't i'm not one of these people that 
believe in must-haves or must-sees or must-plays. But the next best thing is highly, highly recommended. I do highly recommend this Codex of Lists. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, and it's it's so, so useful. If I just open up, you can't see me, but I open a page uh, random here now. And it's got nauseating gases and different things. I mean, it's just it's just phenomenal. Adventure hooks. Um, here we go. Here's one that could be appropriate. Global pandemic. Your team of scientists and doctors must stop a deadly pandemic from killing the human race. Well, there you go. That's just I just did a quick look then. Um, bomb squad is another one. Your team must explore a city to, to disarm bombs in public places before they detonate. Um, crisis management. Your team must remove all experimental data or exterminate everyone that knows about the project that your employer wants to discontinue. Yeah, you know, there's loads of... Uh, oh, another one. I, gotta, I keep seeing more. End of the world. Your team must help prevent total anarchy from spreading across the globe during a deadly pandemic. Your job is to destroy criminal and anarchy-based groups that have formed from the chaos. Wow. Freedom is another one. Uh, an evil tyrannical government has taken control of your isolated island country. Your team must destroy their forces and free your nation. And yeah, that's just a that's just a few here to go. It's 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 all in here. Like I say, I probably myself won't be using you know every table in here. Certainly not for Alien. But that's who's to say I won't pick up a a, a future uh, sci-fi RPG um you know in in good time and i i will then be able to come back to this and use other other tables that weren't so relevant to me back when i was playing alien and they might be more relevant now either way i recommend having this in your toolbox for solo rpging or or for gaming with a group i think it's i think tables help the gm in this day and age and what would the solo experience becoming much more popular now, then I think you should seriously have a look at your your toolbox for your solo games and you know and start putting a few additions in there because they really do polish your overall gaming experience and, and make make it just that little bit more enjoyable and and they're really, really worth it. I I wouldn't be able to RPG without them now. Well, I would, but uh, I wouldn't want to RPG without a load of tables at my command anymore because I just find them so handy and they help make my game experience that much better. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. Thanks ever so much for watching this. Remember all brushes lead to war. Stay safe, be well, be kind, and uh, enjoy your games. Bye for now, folks. Bye-bye.